Hey everyone, let's go over how to change the spark plugs and ignition coils on your N52Z4. The tools we will be using is an optional breaker bar in my case, or a ratchet, a torque wrench, a 5 8 inch or 16 millimeter spark plug socket that is preferably magnetic, an extension along with an adapter for it as needed. And an important thing to note is that you would want the total length of your socket plus extension to be at least about eight inches. In my case, I used a five inch extension and a socket drive adapter, which gave me a little extra length. Then we will need a five millimeter Allen key, your replacement spark plugs and coils if you would like. I was doing some research and some don't replace the coils since it's more of a failure item and not wear and tear like the spark plugs. They will randomly stop working one day, so I will replace them as needed. A new one could fail at the same time the old one would, so who knows. Now lastly, I've also read dielectric grease is optional. If you need links to the tools or parts, I will have them below. So getting started. The first thing we will want to do after getting into the engine bay is use our five millimeter Allen key to remove the engine cover where there are screws on each corner. Then you will want to flip this tab up where it will partially eject the connection as well. And go ahead and remove that connection. It may be difficult to remove some of the connections due to the wiring slack, but don't worry, once you get to removing the coils, that will give you a little bit more wiggle room. Now we will want to remove the ignition coils itself. You can try pulling it and wiggling it out, but if you have trouble, you can use any sturdy tool and put it through the hole in the tab to help you pull it out. Now we can get to removing the spark plug. Go ahead and take your spark plug socket, extension, and ratchet to remove the plug. Once you have that out, go ahead and replace them. You shouldn't have to worry about gapping them since they should already be from the factory. I just started by hand tightening them down first, then got the torque wrench and tightened it down to 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds. If you have new coils, Go ahead and grab them. This next part is also an optional step, but I chose to put some dielectric grease down in the boot. Go ahead and insert the coil back into the hole and reinsert the connection. I'd recommend inserting the connection and simultaneously putting the tab back down so that the connection gets sucked in. Once you have that done, go ahead and give the coil a firm press down. Now you're all done. Just repeat for the other cylinders if you haven't already. But before putting the engine cover back on, I'd start my engine just to make sure it's running as smooth or if not smoother than before. Also, here's some bonus info. While you have the engine cover off, it's a good time to check for any oil leaks, specifically the valve cover gasket if you take a look down here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just follow this lip around to the side and see if it looks excessively dirty, wet, or shiny. Also, if there's a pool of oil in your spark plug hole, that could be related to the gasket in the hole that is usually replaced and comes with the valve cover gasket kit. There is also this gasket here next to the electrical connection which can be replaced individually and I have a video for that too. Then there's the gasket here around the actuator so check around that and below for oil. Once you've finished all your checks go ahead and put the cover back on and you're good to go. I hope that this video helped you and thanks for watching.